Hey guys, welcome back to the print room. I'm Gerald and clearly you can see Sophie in the picture too because she just got a haircut and she's super excited. So she's gonna be the new Insta famous, YouTube famous. But we are making a video today about the Firebird white ink, as you can see right here on our GTX platform, okay? So we do use Firebird ink in our GTXs, the CMYK and the white. Wow, okay. So I'm setting out two prints right now. One is a white print only, okay? And the other, man, she wants to play a lot. But as you can see, we don't like edit our videos and we just do them when we have time because we run production all day. So with that being said, we are doing two shirts. We're actually doing... So we're doing a Comfort Colors, a 1717, which I know a lot of people like. And then we're also doing a Urban Streetwear brand and it's a 10 ounce t-shirt. So if anybody does the streetwear, you guys know it's a little bit harder with the DTG. You gotta add more pre-treatment. You gotta add a little bit more ink. We're gonna show you that with the Firebird ink that you're gonna get a nice vibrant white ink, okay? We'll show you those prints. We're gonna print them, put them on our conveyor. Now you might say, hey, why should I switch over? Why should I use it? I'm not telling you to switch over anything. I'm just making this video because people have asked, okay? So here is our first print on the Comfort Color 1717. We got white and then like a peachy color, okay? So this white looks pretty solid right now. So let's see how it looks when it comes out of the conveyor, because we all know it could change when it comes out of the conveyor, especially with garment dye tees. So we'll see how that looks. I'm not telling anybody to switch over. I'm like I said, I'm just doing a educational video on what I like about this pre-treat, what I think some benefits are, and whether you not you wanna use it, that is 100% up to you. So here's our Urban Streetwear, which is a 10 ounce t-shirt, solid white. But once again, we will see what it looks like when it comes out the other end. We do have it on 340 Fahrenheit for three minutes and 20 seconds. So we're not doing any magic shows. We're not running it through at 100 degrees and not fully curing it. We are fully curing it. This is what we do all of our garments for our customers and clients for. So it's a 100% real video. We're just gonna tell you, you know, what we think is beneficial, what we like about it. And clearly we've been using it for at least two years now. So first we'll start off with just print continuity. It prints very well. It prints even better now than it did when they first came out with it two years ago, I believe. Two years ago, it was very good. It saved me a ton of money. One of the main reasons why I switched and I had no problems printing with it. We have a climate controlled room. We're basically all the time above 45% humidity, under 70% humidity, and we're always under 80 degrees Fahrenheit for temperature. Now, sometimes in those super cold winter months where we did get close to like 40 and just under 40, because our humidifier wasn't keeping up because it was just too cold in the Northeast, we did when we first got the ink, not now, when we first got it like two years ago, we did have to do like a clean maybe every 15 to 20 prints. But during all the other times when the humidity was like above 40, like 45, 50, we could go 24 prints and then it does its clean. That's the longest, 24 prints is the longest you can go before the GTX does an auto clean. With the ink that we have now from Firebird, it is like, we print all day, you know, we've had to do on each machine, 500 shirts on each machine in a day and never had to stop, never had to do an additional cleaning. It only did its auto cleanings and we just run it. We've, we've been blessed to have some big jobs and we you know, run on each machine two, 3,000 shirts and no issues, just printing, 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 never have to stop. We do our regular daily maintenance, our regular weekly maintenance and monthly maintenance, just like Brother recommends. We haven't changed any of that and we have great continuity. Now compared to Brother, Brother has great continuity, never had an issue with it during printing. If it ever did drop out, it was always something mechanical with the machine maybe a fitting got loose, uh, maybe a filter got messed up or something like that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Brothers continuity and Firebird's continuity to me is basically the same. I can basically run just as much and not have issues. And like I said, but we have our room controlled. So that would be my second point is 
if, if you're in an area that's like, hey, I'm getting 90 degrees, 95 degrees in my print room, my humidity is 30, 25, you may have some issues. I don't allow my equipment to get to that because even brother recommends above 40, right? And not to be over 90 degrees Fahrenheit for protection of the GTXs. We don't allow that, and you know, in case, I don't know, something happened. If you're not gonna have a somewhat decent controlled humidity, then you may have issues either way. You may have issues with brother, you may have issues with Firebird. So you can't get mad at either company if you do have ink issues and you're not somewhat controlled. A lot of people put the Vornado uh, humidifiers under their GTXs, which is a great idea to help keep the humidity good for the machines. So we love the continuity. The second thing we love is clearly the price. We, we save about 30% off of the cost with the Firebird ink versus the brother ink. So, I mean, clearly right there, we love it. If we had a print job that was a dollar, now it's 70 cents. You know, sometimes we get prints that are, that one was eight cc's, the one print, and the other print was 12 cc's because I, I did the whole platen and it was all white ink. So that can save some money right there. So if money is tight, maybe that's a, a leaning factor to why try the ink. The third thing is comparing them apples to apples at the same exact setting, which we cannot do right now because we have Firebird in every machine. We would have to switch out one of our machines back to the OEM, but comparing it apples to apples, the same exact ARX file, Firebird Inc. is a little bit more vibrant, right? If you've seen our other video where we have our Spectro that measures the L value, which is the vibrancy of the white, we see that we get a really good L value. So when we, when we had comparisons of same exact pretreatment, same exact shirt, same exact print level, that the Firebird was about one level higher. So we'd get a 92 on Firebird, we get a 91. So equivalent to the print, it's basically if you're doing a six highlight with the Brother Ink, you most likely, not guaranteeing it because I don't know your setup, most likely could do a five highlight with the Firebird Ink to get the same exact vibrancy. So not only do you save money with cost, you would save money, even more money because you can lower the ink and get the same vibrancy. That's the third thing we love. Next factor people ask about is, hey, how is the like bleeding? How is the mixing? Do you have any issues with that? No, we don't have any additional issues. Even when we use Brother back in the day, you know, if you're doing a small left chest or maybe text going across, and it was say a white text with a red outline, well, if we didn't put a color pause in there, whether we use Brother or whether we use Firebird, we would get a little bit of bleeding. But as far as like full-size graphics, we don't see any additional effects. So that right there to me is, you know, one-to-one, -one, apples to apples. So if you're looking for an ink, right, once again, you make the decision, but if you're looking for an ink, you're trying to save a little bit of money, you want something that's possibly a little bit more vibrant, then Firebird may way to go. And let me go grab these shirts. Let's see how they look after the dryer. And lastly, I didn't talk about is the curing. So that is the only, the only other difference that I saw is with the curing. So with Firebird, as I said, so we got this print here, still just solid white. Yeah, solid white, no cracks, no halo effect, not sticky. We do use Firebird pretreatment. Clearly, this is the Gen. Gen 3 Brother Firebird pretreatment. So this is a solid, I mean, just, you can see it, it's solid. Then let's look at this Comfort Colors, which is the garment dyed. And then this is, I mean, it's just like if somebody screen printed it, right? This is probably a 92 L value. This one here is probably a 93 L value over here. This one here is probably a 92. I could have maybe added a little bit more pretreatment, but we only put down, on this one here, only put down 22 grams. 22 to 25 grams of pretreatment, and it's good. So, so what I was saying is the curing, that's the only other difference is Firebird, we're at 340 Fahrenheit for three minutes and 20 seconds. That's what we cure it at. We probably could go a little bit less than that, but I like to be safe because sometimes we're throwing hoodies on here. Sometimes we're throwing these heavyweight shirts. And then sometimes we're throwing the lightweight shirts with, with less sink. We can't always be adjusting our settings all day. So we kind of have it set for what we would do hoodies at. And that's what we run it at. We probably could go less, but as it is, 
340 for three minutes and 20 seconds. With Brother, we would probably be like 340 for maybe like three minutes. So they're a little bit less in cure time, but one of the factors could be that Firebird's vibrancy is a little bit better than the OEM when you do the same amount. So that could be the difference of why the Firebird needs a little bit extra time is because it's a little bit more vibrant, where if I drop down the ink and I make it less vibrant, I could probably do the three minutes, have no problems at all. But that is something that I kind of just noticed. So clearly I'm saying it so that you hear it from me. So yeah, make your decision. We like it. We have it in all of our machines in our pod right here. So if you like to give it a try, call them up, go on firebirdink.com, give it a try. Um, it works with the Brother CMYK. So if you have a bunch of it or you don't want to switch it out because you like that color profile, you can just get the white ink and it works with that too. So there you go. Cheaper price, same continuity, same bleeding and mixing. Curing is very close, but a better vibrancy. All right. Got any questions? Leave them below. I hope this helped and have a great one.